Alrighty guys, so it's time for another one of these versus videos, and these are of course our contestants. This is the disruptor and the strong arm. So before we go into what makes them different and what makes one better or worse than the other, let's just see if they play nicely with one another. And it looks like they do okay. So no matter what your opinion is, uh, the blasters get along, so let's try and get along in the comments section. But these are our two revolvers with slides that are the offerings from the Elite line right now. Uh, this has been branded more or less as an XD blaster, and the strong arm has an XD variant. Both have priming indicators in the back of their slides. You can see that when they're primed, well, thusly, whoops, uh, the, these in the back here turn orange as opposed to regularly this part of the, the priming system is so far forward that you can't see it. So uh, they're, they're very, very similar. They're both six-shot revolvers. They are almost exactly the same length. If we take a look like that, you can see that it's literally millimeters of difference. The thickness is also very comparable. They are similar in that sense as well. You can eclipse either one with the other, but only just. And um, they, they have very similar handle profiles as well. They both have this kind of notch here to lock your middle finger into. I like the trigger well on the strong arm actually a little bit more. It seems to have slightly more room for a regular sized human finger. Now, the disruptor has something here and they both have some attachment points down inside the handle. I prefer the overall handle aesthetic on the disruptor. I think that it's better for paint jobs and whatnot, but I, I like them both just fine. Um, the, the overall biggest difference is of course that the strong arm has a drop turret here which allows you to cycle through and reload. But is it truly better than the disruptor's ability to just always be reloadable here? So you can realistically reach five or uh, always definitely uh, three from the front end of the disruptor, whereas the strong arm, you can reach none of them, actually. You can kind of sort of at the halfway point here. Uh, if you tease the turret into the right zone, you can tuck through there, but realistically this was designed to be dropped out and reloaded this way, and so you uh, can still only access three or maybe four at a time. So realistically the disruptor is easier to reload and has less moving parts. Now if you really are an old school Maverick fan and you dig that action, then never do that with a, a real revolver by the way. But if you, if you really like that kind of style of play, then the strong arm is obviously better for you. If you like efficiency in all of its forms, then the disruptor is going to be better. One thing that is nice, and I just kind of evidenced there, is that uh, the disruptor gets damaged uh, easier in its cylinder than the strong arm does just because the strong arm cylinder is completely enclosed. If I was going to hazard a guess, as to why they made this change at very similar price points and obviously using almost identical internals, it would be that it's actually much cheaper for Hasbro to manufacture the Disruptor. Similar to how like candy bars get smaller every year but stay the same price, I think that the Disruptor is the same price as the strong arm but requires less plastic to make and has less moving parts and assembly required because it doesn't have these two pieces for the cylinder as well as the uh, the drop button turret mechanism. So the Disruptor is an overall easier to manufacture blaster and as a result, whether by design or not, it's actually easier to, to use as well. So I think that they're saving money and by saving money as a company on a massive scale, they are making money by manufacturing the Disruptor. I like the Disruptor a little bit more, but uh, the Maverick enthusiast in me prefers the strong arm from like a funsies point. And that's the, the real point of this video is that it's a versus video between the strong arm and the Disruptor. But if either one of these is your primary sidearm and you don't have the Orange Modworks kit in it, and I have not confirmed yet if the Orange Modworks kit will fit the Disruptor, uh, but the strong arm and Disruptor have naturally very fragile internals, so without that Orange Modworks kit, they're not very good when you modify them. They frequently blank, uh, break. That is a complaint that I hear from HVZers all the time who try to holster these, and I, I wouldn't like that. To get the power out of them that you need, for most game types to be competitive against primaries or other people's secondaries, uh, you have to modify them and they don't necessarily hold up well to that. So uh, if you're using either one of these, you're using it because you really like the aesthetic or the style of the blaster because frankly, 
My personal opinion and the opinion of most people whenever I ask this question is that the hammer shot or rebel version of the hammer shot or even I've gotten the four victory before as a much smaller option are better sidearms for nerf. Uh, one of the very best ones is in fact the messenger and the luminate variant of the messenger because it has just more power now. All of those have slightly less capacity than the strong arm except for a modified hammer shot which can get up to seven. I've even seen a guy fit an eight shot turret in a hammer shot but that's just insane. As far as performance of these goes, very very similar. This by the way is not a practical way to dual wield pistols. I, that's why. Um, prefer hammer shots for a lot of reasons trying not to just bash this style of blaster because the hammer shot exists but um, that was a fun kind of kerfuffle there they're they're fine pistols they just are not my favorite style personally and dual wielding them is awkward almost almost uncomfortably weird but I prefer reloading the disruptor I think that it is a much nicer uh, version in terms of functionality, but I have more fun playing with the strong arm and ultimately that's what it's all about So you guys can duke it out in the comment section below Let me know which one you would prefer to own if you'd like the the new Disruptor or if you think that you would rather just stick with the tried and true strong arm I personally would rather have a maverick than either one of them, but that is just me uh Weigh in, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Much love, Nerf on, Drac out.